Hey everyone, buckle up because we've got some real talk coming your way. South Africa just made headlines by throwing its weight behind Palestine in the Israel-Palestine conflict, and the International Court of Justice, ICJ, just dropped a decision that's shaking things up. We're about to dive into the nitty-gritty of what this means for South Africa, the conflict, and the global stage. So, picture this, South Africa, stepping up and taking a bold stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict. The ICJ decision? It's not just about exposing Israel's actions, it's also shining a spotlight on other nations that are turning a blind eye to the tragedy unfolding in Gaza. It's time to unpack the drama and see how South Africa's unwavering support for Palestine is making waves not just in its foreign policy playbook but also as a global justice warrior. But before we jump into the juicy details, do us a favor, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and don't forget to flick on the post notifications. You'll be the first to know when we drop another bombshell of a video. Now, let's get down to the good stuff, the ICJ's unanimous decision in favor of South Africa's backing of Palestine. It's like a megaphone announcing South Africa's dedication to justice and human rights. This decision isn't just sparking debates about geopolitics, it's also revealing the chess moves and the systematic fightback campaigns that might come South Africa's way. We're not sugarcoating it, there are forces out there trying to block South Africa from putting a neat bow on its case at the ICJ. But guess what? They're all about exposing the atrocities in Gaza, and they're not backing down. Now, imagine this, David vs. Goliath vibes. South Africa, armed with principles and justice on its side, facing off against challenges on the global stage. It's a wild ride, and we're here for it, exploring the twists and turns as South Africa pursues justice and stands tall against the odds. Also, some internal critics are saying that the ANC which is South Africa's ruling party is backing Palestine because it's trying to win points towards the forthcoming election. Polls suggest that the ANC may receive less than 50% of the national vote for the first time ever, mirroring patterns observed in recent municipal and local government elections. ANC's declining popularity continues a steady pattern observed since 2007 and is attributed to perceptions of growing systemic corruption within the party, ANC insularity from ordinary South Africans, and poor service delivery embodied by rolling electricity blackouts. South Africa also strains under the burden of growing inequality, poverty, and youth unemployment. Over 60% of 15 to 24-year-olds are unemployed, and many in South Africa's sprawling townships struggle to find enough to eat. The ANC's long dominance makes it hard to escape responsibility for these popular grievances. But seriously, kindly like, subscribe and turn on your post notification. The shout-outs are in order, big thanks to South Africans rallying for Palestine, plus kudos to the legal team and government officials holding it down. But let's be real, the road ahead won't be a walk in the park. Experts from the African Energy Council suggest Israel will take this ruling lightly because the court has few powers of enforcement, as Russia and others have made clear. In its provisional measures on a case brought by Ukraine in 2022, the court called on Russia to immediately suspend military operations, presumably with little hope of being heard. Russia responded by demanding that the court throw out the hopelessly flawed case. But that lack of enforcement doesn't lessen the political discomfort for Israel or for those who have seemed so ready to protect Israel from any and all criticism. The video wraps up with a call for vigilance and determination. The ANC's knack for bringing people together is highlighted, paving the way not just for South Africa's freedom but also advocating for global freedom. So, as we wrap up this roller coaster of a video, here's the million dollar question, are we ready to jump into discussions that could finally bring an end to this conflict? South Africa's commitment to dialogue and peaceful resolutions is the rallying cry we all need. It's like echoing the spirit of legends like Nelson Mandela and declaring that South Africa is ready to contribute to lasting peace in the Israel-Palestine saga. So, hit us up with your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe for more real talk on Africa's geopolitical scene. Until next time, stay tuned for more eye-opening insights.